By the end of this video, you'll be able to change the key of a sample within the music software FL Studio. Let's get started. So let's say you're working in FL Studio and you have an audio clip or a sample that you would like to change the key of. Well, this is pretty easy to do. What you would first want to do is have the audio clip selected and I usually have it selected as the pattern. So select it right here and you can double click. And once you double click, that will bring up the master for that audio file. So in order to change the key, what you want to do is change the pitch here with the time stretching. And again, you can change a different mode here. I usually have it at auto. And so that way, when I click on the pitch, I can change this. And if you look at the top left hand side of the screen, you can see it says pitch shift minus 100 cents. And so as I change this knob, it's changing the amount of cents that the pitch is being changed. So every 100 cents is a half step or a semitone. If I go minus 100 cents, that means I lowered it one key. So uh, let's say this was in the key of G. That means I just lowered it to the key of F sharp. And so I just X out of this so that that does it. And then now when I listen to the audio, it has been lowered one half step. If I go back into that, double click on the pattern, and then I go back to the pitch, the time stretching, and let's say I change it back to 100 cents. Now I'll go ahead and play that. You can hear that it's a half step higher now. For those who are wondering what that looks like on the piano roll, I'm gonna double click on a piano roll here for another track. And so what I just did there in the pitch shift was I took it from the key of say, let's say G to F sharp. So I lowered it 100 cents. So 100 cents would go from G to F sharp. Now, if I wanted it to go from G to F, and if I'm transposing down, then that means I wanna go 200 cents. So one, two, so 200. And then, so each one of these is 100. Uh, when you think of it, up or down. If you're in the key of C and you wanted to transpose up to the key of G, you would have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 700 cents. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven semitones. And so it depends on how you think of this. Um, again, a semitone is just one note to the very next note on the piano roll. Now you'll be able to do this with any track that you have or any pattern that you have. So let's say you have multiple patterns of audio, you can go through each pattern and do it that way. Um, again, as you uh, look at the pitch shift, uh, I haven't noticed much difference between the modes, so audio, uh, auto or resample or stretch. I think I've seen some people use stretch and so uh, that could work for you too. You wanna listen to the audio quality after you've stretched it. Um, and again, this is gonna change the pitch without changing the time. So the, the time will be the same, but the pitch will be different. So let's say you have multiple patterns and you wanna change the key of one of them, but not another one. You wanna make sure you create another pattern. So if I wanted this again and I wanna change the key of the same exact sample uh, multiple times on a piece, then what I do is I would add another pattern so let's say piano transposed, right? So I can keep the original key. So you can get the audio file for that. You just go to the channel rack and add your file, audio file, audio clip like you did before. And then now I'm gonna add an audio clip here. And so now I have that sample in both. Uh, so you can see when I uh, choose the first one, the first audio clip is selected, this one. So now I can transpose the same exact audio clip um, and use it in the same piece. So let's say I wanted the first one in the right regular key, and I'm gonna take this audio clip and I'm gonna transpose it down 300 cents. So now you can hear the difference. So original key, and then transpose key. So you have to create a new pattern and then put the audio clip in that pattern to transpose it if you wanna use the same clip within the same piece. So you now know how to transpose an audio clip within FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.